So a bit of a mental moment. This is okay, you know, with you on the board, and I'll send them a link. And I can connect this, which is the kind of the Zoom, you know, our the teacher's Zoom to the TV. But then I've logged in to two other laptops. So if I put people into breakout rooms, how do I get them to go into the laptop? Journey. <laughs> that's good. That's good that we are experiencing this. We know what we need to find yeah. out, right? So, sorry. Yes. <laughs> so when um, you know, you're doing your lesson, and I want them to talk to each other mm -hmm. in this way and not at the table TV. Yeah. I will put them into breakout rooms, but it doesn't necessarily mean they pop up in here, does it? Well, it's okay because I might have to go in here and then. They won't, they won't really need anything else during that breakout time. I thought I always imagined that they were going to be in breakout rooms the whole time anyway, individually. Yeah. But how do I make so say if Emily is in one breakout room, mm. so we won't be able to sit here on that thing. How do I get her onto this? Yeah, I don't know. One of those technical things that you do that's the that's a thing that I didn't think through and I've only just realised now. So I'll set these up so they'll be I'll put this one up there. Yeah. And then there are three more I can't get one of them to work. And that's in the lesson I'll be fiddling around seeing if I can get people. Okay. Hey. So you see what works? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Hello everyone. This will be an interesting class. Oh, I know, because I've just... 
because Helen, I've just thought of something that um, may not work. So let me try. All right, so this can go. In the other class, yeah. um, there are let's try this one. Um, three attic. Yeah. All right. Oh, I think if you if we turn up the volume, we can probably uh, hear. Because this volume not turn up in the It's on a. So this one, this so they're going to have this feed as well as yeah. I'm just going to check that one from my computer now to okay. see that the link's okay, yeah. and I'll send it. So I know it looks back to front on yours, but on mine it looks the right way around. Okay, good. Yeah. The only problem is the lights emit this oh, yeah. image, um, so it's better to use dark colors. Okay. The black and the uh, mm -hmm. blue. Thanks, guys. For this interesting lesson. Yeah. So there'll be three students up there, or there might be two students and a teacher up there. And then we're going to try and have them in here, but I don't know if that's going to work. But he, Marina is going to do your normal class. It's just that the students, mm, yeah. uh, the student in Melbourne and in China will also be able to see it through this. Mm. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. And it's only for an hour, 11.30 to 12.30. Yeah, good. Right, sorry. All right, let's check, let's check these lovely answers then. Here we go. Let's see how you did. All right. So hopefully, hopefully we got some nice uh, answers there. All right, number one, number one, what do we think? The one, of course, is? So, okay, maybe, maybe so. Everyone, did everyone get so? I put this one. This fight? Mm -hmm. Number one, number one. Um, the answer for number one is although. Oh, Again. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> although. I think you know those, but. So, although is often followed by a subject and mm. then a verb. Yeah. Right? So, we can here see the, the land area is the subject and then the verb increases. Increases, yeah. If uh, yeah, if you were to use um, like despite, mm. then you'd be having a you have a verb despite the increase. Oh, okay. Right. Mm. 
Number two, number two, of course, we should put resolve. resolve. That's right, because that's that phrase, as a result of something, right? As a result of. So we often have after, as a result of, we have a noun, as a result of something. And when we use it, it's because we're relating it back to something that's already been done. This has happened, so because of that, this is the result. Number three, number three. The word here is, of course, commonly. commonly. That's right. Commonly known. So that's a, a, a collocation, you know, words that are often seen together. Commonly known. Yeah. Um, other words with commonly, we could have commonly affected, commonly injured, commonly seen, or commonly prescribed, if we're talking about medicine, mm -hmm. medicine that is commonly prescribed by the doctor is headache medicine. Okay. Okay. Number four, we should have there? From. From. Yeah. Stemming means to come. come mm -hmm. And often we say come from somewhere, right? Yeah. So something that causes something or comes from somewhere, that's how we use it. Uh, number five, number five, of course, it's historical. Uh, historical. It's historic. Oh, it's historic. Mm -hmm. I changed this in the last minute. <laughs> so, historic is something important or influential in history, but historical refers to anything from the past if it's important or not. Mm, okay. Right? So, historic is more important. Historical, just something from the past. Okay. Yeah. So we can have, for example, a historic building, mm. right? So the the GPO, General Post Office, is a historic building, right? One of the first buildings, big buildings mm. here. Um, a historic event, mm -hmm. yeah, something really big that happened. A historic moment or historic place or historic spot. Mm -hmm. And historical, for example, we can have a historical novel, a novel about the oh, past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, historical, uh, some historical evidence, mm -hmm. evidence from the past, mm -hmm. um, historical society or historical context, things like that. So you know, um, you you would say, uh, my friend, my friend Jane writes historical novels. Mm -hmm. Doesn't write historic novels, writes mm -hmm. historical novels. Yeah. yeah, about the past. Number six, mm -hmm. of course. We need to say oh, on, on offer. That's right. That's often what we see. On offer means you know something that's for sale or available to buy cheaper than usual. On offer. That's a fixed phrase too, right? It's okay. always on offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you go into a shop or into a you know you want to buy a car. Mm. Yeah. You go okay. Do you have anything on offer? Mm. Anything cheaper? Or something you know, with special price, oh, special, special week, price. weekend weekend price, or yeah. Oh. Uh, number seven, number seven. Of course, we say make. make. Of course, we all make reservations, don't we? Yes, make reservation. That's a, a mm. common collocation there. Do we have do reservation? You don't do one, no. Do a book? No. You make a booking as well because oh. there is similar meaning to reservation. Okay. Yeah. And the lucky last one. A few. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be really careful with yeah. these words because sometimes they're used either with countable things or uncountable. Some of them means, uh, you know, two or three things. Uh, some means not many. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the answer is few. Few. Oh, few. Like yeah. No, no few. few means not many, but a few means some. Some. Yeah, I think it's a some. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, of course, we use that usually with countable nouns. Yeah. The same with little and a little. Little means not much, <laughs> and, and a little yeah. means some, some as well. Yeah. And that's yeah. used some. with uncountable nouns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think many people do make that mistake. So, uh, you know, is, tell me, is this sentence okay? Can I say this? She's got a lot of money, but a few friends. Is that okay? 
She's got a lot of money, but a few friends. Yeah. No. No, because. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> no, because <laughs> friends is cancelled. Okay. Can't no, what you say? Few. Just few Just friends. Few. That's, That's right. She's got a lot of money, but. Few, few friends, friends meaning few not, many, not many, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Hmm. The same, you know, if we're talking about candle, one candle, you know, uh, I've got a few dollars in my pocket. I've got a few dollars. That's some, yeah. yeah. In that situation. And I have a little money. Uh -huh. So yeah, you can you can unplug that one later. That's fine. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the last one. Yeah, so give it a score there and calculate the percentage if you can and give it back. I know this. It's the same. Okay, Most of those are right. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> More than half? Yes. Yeah, yeah good, good. <laughs> <laughs> you got a few. Oh. So some All right, any those from you? Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, great. I'll take those back to you shortly. Um, all right. <clears throat> So let's uh, let's work on um, creating our word families, as we mm -hmm. looked at a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> and I've encouraged you to, of course, keep it up. And I gave you a list, right? Yeah, yeah. Our website with lots of them. Hopefully, we did more than just that first week. Yeah. We've kept on going on with that. All right. So let me let me write up a few here for you, and we'll see. If we can, yeah. new we can. Yeah. I mean, it's always exciting. I like to see in the dictionary of Helen <laughs> and the dictionary of uh, Adriana, yes, the dictionary yes, of William. Yes. I think it's always exciting to see what new vocabulary it's my words. Especially create new words. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go with uh, our noun, verbs, and adjectives here. Um, adverbs are always easy to make as well. All right, so. I'm going to put up some words. Maybe I will write the noun, maybe the verb or the adjective. You quickly try and work out what is the uh, what are the other two. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, the other two. All right. Let's start with this one here. Mm -hmm. All right, you can talk together, of course, no problem there. Laughable. Laughable. So we're looking for a noun and a verb for laughable. Ah, 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 ah. Laugh. 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 Yeah. Love. Laugh. 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 Um, <laughs> is there uh, something else that we can use for now? La, 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 but, uh, he's having a laugh, meaning he's trying to trick me or make something like that. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. British people might use that a little bit more commonly. Uh, I'm sure you know this word, but here we go. It should, of course, be laughter. Laughter. Okay. So the sound, no, not the sound. It's the sound, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you watch a, uh, uh, a TV yeah. show, yeah, right? Yeah. A, a funny TV show, and you mm -hmm. hear what do you hear when you know they say something funny? You hear 
laughter. You hear laughter, mm, right? Yeah, yeah. The audience is laughter, laughter, right? Let's do this one. Well, let's keep it in the English, the Australian spelling, of course. Yeah. So pretty. Oops. I knew I'd put the scene wrong. Let's criticize. Yeah, criticize. Uh, yeah, okay. Criticize, girls, ladies. Criticize. And little criticism. Yeah, criticism. It's a noun. Sorry, what's the, what's the noun? Criticism. 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 No. Criticism. 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 No. Criticism. 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 Noyen, tiebreaker. She says one thing, she says another. What do you think? Criticism. Sigh. Sigh. Ah. Oh, we should know this one, right? Criticism. Well, criticism, as you're uh, oh, saying here, Adriana, right? And five, four, quick, three, two, Good one. Yeah, this one's not the, but the shorter version here. Mm. Critics. Crit mm. Critics would be a noun. Critical. Critical. Critic. Critic is also a noun oh. for a person. <laughs> Come on, you should know this. This one's, of course, critical. Oh. Don't be so critical oh. of each other. Critical, for example, right? <laughs> critical. Critical. <laughs> All right, let's see if you guys can remember maybe what this one might be. Heat. 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 No, no, no. Heat. 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 <laughs> it's a long sound, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Heat. How do we spell it? H e a t. Heat. Yeah. Heat. Mm, to heat something. Okay. And the noun? Heater. <laughs> As a thing? <laughs> well, I'm sure it's part of the family, so it would be a nice noun as well. Is there something else? Okay. No. Hotter would no. be an adjective, no. wouldn't it? Yeah. A comparative adjective. Three, two, one. Three. Of course, it's also heat. Oh. <laughs> and we mentioned that one, right? When we're talking about a sunny day. Oh, the oh, heat yeah, outside yeah, is yeah. terrible today, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the heat. <laughs> uh, we, we remember we were talking about um, trying to sleep at night time. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. sleep because of the heat. heat. Yeah. Ah. yeah. All right. Hello, darkness, of my old friend. Duck. Like, like, quack, quack, duck. Uh, dog. Oh, dog. 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 Chocolate. What's that then? Verb, Verb. adjective. No, adjective. 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 So yeah. this would be dark. 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 Yeah, you guys yeah, should remember yeah, these because yeah, yeah. we've covered them one or two of these before. And these are the EN words, right? The yeah. verbs. What was it? What were some of the other words with the EN for suffix? Mm -hmm. Long, mm -hmm. widen, 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 and widen. what's the long one? What? Long. Lengthen. No, you should be trying to remember. <laughs> trying to think. Lengthen. Lengthen. Uh. That's right. <laughs> right, because we've got a group of them, don't we? Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. Um, let's go with this next one. I think the next one is. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh this is this is good. This is maybe something new. A drama as a noun. That's the verb. What's the adjective? Adjective. 
from dramatic. 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 Yes, that sounds good to me. And um, grammatical. We could put grammatical there. Mm -hmm. They're both adjectives. Don't be so dramatical. Yeah. And um, what? A fur. Any ideas, maybe? I think the same. Yeah. Drum written. It's going to be something different. It's going to be something different. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, kind of almost like those two words. Of course, it's dra something. It's not, it's not just dra. Dra, dra. dra make. Dra make. Pick. No, well, this can't be dramatic. Dramatize. 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 To dramatize something, to turn it into a drama. All right, put an easy one here with a verb. Very similar word form, isn't it? Oops. Terrorize. Terrorize. Talk together, talk Ter together, what do you think? Terrorism. The Terrorism. Terrorism. The noun. The noun. The noun. Yes. Terrorism. So the noun is? Terror. Or? What else for the noun? Terrorian. I yes, can no. Sorry. I a Yeah. That's a new word, isn't it? Terrorian. Terrorism. I Sure. Yeah. You can put terrorism. That's a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Is there anything else? Person. Terrorist. Terrorist, right? Yeah, of course. Very good, very good. So we can put IST there as well. Mm -hmm. So we're just missing this one then, are we? Mm -hmm. and, which is not too hard as an adjective, it is? Mm -hmm. Terroric. No. Mm -hmm. Terroric? What is yeah. this, Terroric? Huh. Is this your friend? Hello, Terroric. This is Terra Mick, Terroric, Terra <laughs> Susan, Terra Judy. <laughs> They're all from the same family as well. Yeah. Oh, this is an easy one. Yeah? Yeah, you know what? Terror. No. Terror. Oh, we were just terror. 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 Terrible. 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 No. Terrified. Don't you know this one? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Terrified. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Or Terry. Terry. Terrible. Oh. Well, you know what to do. Terrifying. Oh. That's yeah. right, terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know those two, don't you? Yeah. I was terrified. It was so scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a terrifying experience. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go with this word. Various as the adjective. No. Variety. 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 Is, the noun. Noun. Mm. is that right, William? Variety. And uh, very. Yeah. They are both right. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have looked at those before, right? Nice, nice, nice. All right. Here we go. I'm sure you remember this one too. Yeah. Um, more of it is leaf. Adjective is beautiful. Mm. No? Oh. 
Okay. I'm just waiting for the third person to also join you. You can't, you can't, you can't just sit there thinking, oh no, give me all the answers. Come on, come on. These are, some of these are easy words. Yes, come on. We should get out to say, yeah, yeah, I've heard that word. That, I think that sounds like a verb. To live, yeah. You need to live, yeah, go out of your comfort zone. And the adjective, of course, is limbo. No, I'm not sure. Is that, the, is that an adjective, though? Yeah, livable. Yeah. Yeah. Any others? A leaf. Sorry. A leaf. A leaf. What is a leaf? Alive. alive. Yeah. Okay. Alive. So that one is alive. Yeah. Or sure, we could put livable. Anything else? Any other easy word here? You know it. Come on. Living. <laughs> uh, we are living, breathing organisms, aren't we? Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. That's you said as well. Here you are. Sharp. Sharp. Where is the sharpen? What is shopping? Yes. Yes. Shopping. Yeah. Shopping and the uh, shopping. Yeah. 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 It's, it follows a pattern, doesn't yeah. it? It's going to be similar yeah. to dark. Yes. Dark yeah. and darkness. That's right. So sharp, sharp and. And sharpness. and sharpness, right. We're talking about your pencil. Yes, I know. I need to sharpen my pencil. The sharpness of my pencil is not very good. I need to sharpen, sharpen. it more. Sharpness. Um, all right, so how about... Uh, Original. Original is the adjective Originally. form. Originally. Originally. Origin. Originally Origin. would be an adverb, adverb. wouldn't it? Origin. Uh, Origin. Origin. Yeah. Yeah. No. Origin. Yeah. No. Originally. No. Originally. Originally would be an adverb, yeah. wouldn't it? Mm. Origin. Origin is what? Origin, Origin is the noun. noun. Is that right? The origin's a noun then? Yeah. yeah okay, origin's a noun. Mm -hmm. And the action, the verb? Originate. A P E. Originate. Maybe. I don't know what to say. It is, it is. Oh, <laughs> it. Yeah. Originate, because you'd often say, um, you know, yoga originated in? Mm. In mm. India. In India, right? Mm. Acupuncture originated in? China. In China. Okay. Marino originated in? In. Yeah. <laughs> in Croatia. In Croatia. In Croatia. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere from his mom. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Good. How are we going? A couple more. All right. Here we go. Let's, let's do a couple more while we're at, waiting for these guys to turn up. Um, oh, okay. Let's do this one. Mm. Okay. Mm. Poverty. poverty. Mm. A lot of poverty around the world. We have it here in Australia. Per, per yeah. It's a adjective. Sorry, sorry, can you say the word again? Per. Like a cat? No. Per. 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 
Because <laughs> this is a word, per. No, no, no. That's the that's the sound that a cat make or any any no, no, any no, no, cat like no, no, creature. Yeah, yeah. Per. 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 How how do you say it? So is it an adjective? P. Four. 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 Yeah. Four. 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 Oh yeah, verb. That's a tricky one, isn't it? That's that one you probably might struggle with. <clears throat> it's got a, a prefix. Prefix. Got a prefix on this one. Okay. Or and it kind of looks closer towards the noun form. And it's got a suffix as well. Starts with I. Empowerity. Empowerity. <laughs> it's a good em start. Empower. What do you think is the, oh, the last pass? Three I T. Oh, it's I S. Ah, that was good, yeah, Helen. That was quite good. Yeah. Impoverished to make something for. I think, for example, the uh, the Olympic Games, right? The Olympics maybe impoverishes some governments mm, because they spend yeah. billions of dollars preparing. And unfortunately for Japan, yeah. Tokyo Olympics. No, they spent all this money. <laughs> Not the audience. I don't know. They don't have any yeah. spectators. Uh, yeah. Spectators. Yeah. Spectators. For yeah. sports. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, spectators. if they've. Uh... I'll just have to turn this back. Right. <laughs> um, they, uh, they, of course, don't have the opportunity at the moment to get all that money back. And uh, yeah, only the athletes are allowed to have them go back. All right. How are we going here with our students? Got a few Definitely. people coming in. They're here. Natsumi's here, your friend. Oh, Hi. Hi. Natsumi. where's our Natsumi? All right. Yeah, uh, here we are. Hi. And there's the hat collection. All right, very good. It looks like the whole class is coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Another student. Yes. So, who have we got there so far? Who's that? Jian? Hello. Can they hear? Okay. Can you guys hear okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. All right, let's, I'll just check. Hi, everybody. Um, can, what I'd like you to do is to mute uh, yourself on Zoom, but can you hear me and Marino through YouTube? Hey, Emily, Emily, can you give us a sign if you can hear us on YouTube? <laughs> Maybe I could say, hey Emily, take a sip of coffee if you can hear us on the <laughs> No, okay, so we're Have just, uh, Let me just uh, experiencing some. Yeah. Emily, can, can you hear us through can YouTube? Can you, can you see us on YouTube? YouTube? Can you see us on YouTube? Can you see us on YouTube? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Can you see us on YouTube? Are you asking? Can you hear us? Okay. I can see you on Zoom, but is everybody on the Zoom on the YouTube link? Yeah, so Yeah, 
Yeah, Emily, so please. Um, you guys are finished with this? Could you send the students the YouTube link? Okay, Yeah. Okay, yeah. how are we going there? Good, good, good. All right. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we've got the people there. So can you uh, can you hear us via the YouTube stream now? Could you put your thumbs up if you can hear us and see us? Oh, they haven't done it yet. We're in. Okay. I've just muted those, so I have to unmute. Uh -huh. So Summer and Jane. You can hear us? Great. Now, does everyone have a video? We can just see who, who we have here. So can everyone give us a thumbs up if they can hear us and see us? Has everyone done it? Uh, that was Emily there. So Summer and Jane had their thumbs up before. Um, so now it's just Jan. Natsumi and Jan. Can you hear us okay? Jan, Natsumi, can you give us a thumbs up if you can hear us via YouTube? Mm -hmm. No, I'm having a bit of difficulty with that. Okay. All right, I'll write it on the board. Yeah, give them a <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, hopefully we'll get um, some of this ironed out. So it looks like half half of you can hear, and the other couple there are still trying to work it out. Um, yeah. 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 Good. Yes. Fantastic. Woo! All right. Okay. All right. Can I just tell them something? <laughs> Sorry, guys. So just some uh, technical um, things that we need to do in this lesson. And what I'd like you to do is when Marino is teaching at the board, if you can uh, mute, if you can put yourselves on mute like you're doing in Zoom. Uh, and if you do want to speak, then you have to also maybe mute the YouTube and then you can speak in Zoom. All right. So I think if you want to speak, it's uh, mute the YouTube and then ask us a question in Zoom. That's it. Really okay, good. Yeah. great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okie dokie. Okay. So, <clears throat> welcome everyone. Hopefully, we do manage to get this to work. Uh, all right, let's have a look at a question, and uh, I'm going to write it up on the board. Well, not so much a question, but I'm going to write up some words on the board, first of all, and uh, let's see if you know them. I'm sure everyone will know these words. 
Hmm. Um, let's go with this word here. Can everyone see that okay? So we've got the word thief and robber on the board. Yes, okay. So um, do you think, does everyone first of all know these two words? Over here? Yeah. Does anyone know what a thief is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is a thief? Uh, Something. Steal something. Yeah. Or is it a person? A is person. it an animal? Yeah, person. Okay, a person who steals something. Steal something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what about this one here then? Steal stuff like they get something. A person wants to get something and fight with you. And fight with you? Yeah. Wow. So they, they also want to steal something, right? Yeah. So that's, in, that's what they have in common, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Uh, so would you say that this is a good person or a bad person or somewhere in the middle person? Bad person. Bad person. Bad person. Yeah. yeah. Would you all agree? Yeah. I've got some uh, heads bobbing up and down there. I can see. All right. Um, what other people could we add to this list? People who do things like a thief or a robber. Can you give me some other words? You can you can of course type it in. Jam says he can't open the link there. I'll email. Well, but I think we made some letters in the middle. Burglar. U U G U G G U L A R. Uh, G U. Yeah, burglar. G yeah, yeah. B U L A R, I think. No, I think it's G L U R A R A R U. Oh my god. <laughs> well, which one is it? Is it A R? Is it U R? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at our, our comments. Anyone sending our comments in our chat room? Yeah. Burglar. Burglar. What is it? E A R. Mm. Burglar. Burglar. Okay, I think yeah, I believe yeah. it's AI. Is that right, guys? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's not a word I often write. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, so burglar, very similar, isn't it? Yeah. To yeah. a robber and a thief. Okay, any other people who might be not so nice? These are, of course, people who, who steal things. Do we have any other people who might be considered? What do we, what do we call these people? What's kind of a group name? Criminals. Criminals. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's put uh, let's put that here at the top. Criminals. Any anyone else? Let's have a look. Who's got some more criminals that we can add? You can of course type in your comments there as well. Gangster. Hmm? Gangster. Gangster. I like oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Gangnam Style. Hey. Pretty lady. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we're not. I'm seeing that video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Show me your later again. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Guys, don't forget you can type in live chat there, please. So you can t tell me what's happening. Otherwise, I don't know what you're thinking. Never. Um, killer. Yeah, good one. A killer. Yeah, good. And can we think of one more word, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay, great. Drug dealer. All right. So we said we said we're, we're calling all these people, of course, criminals because what's the um, of course this is a noun. What's the verb of criminals? Crime. Crime. And what's the word? What's the verb that often goes with crime? 
Do they make crime? Do crime have crime? Anyone able to tell me? You think maybe do crime? There's a really good word that we often use for crime here. So we said this is the, the noun. So the verb is no. We often say, or the, the verb form is commit a crime. Yeah, because crime itself is also a noun, isn't it? Commit a crime. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm not going to ask you if you have ever committed a crime. Yeah, but it's interesting because crime is sometimes used with um, some other phrases like, uh, yeah, we can think about committing a crime when we're talking about fashion. Mm. Has anyone ever heard that? A fashion crime? Yeah. That often refers to when you wear something that yeah. clashes <laughs> with something else. It's like, what are you wearing? Oh, my God. You've committed a crime of fashion there. Oh, so wow. you can see it's kind of used in, in that way. It's kind of in a, in a funny way as, as well. But if we're thinking about crime, we're thinking about criminals, um, who, who helps to find or get these criminals off the streets and, and maybe into jail? Who helps this? The police. The police, yeah. sure, of course. We've got the police who help out. Are there any special police people? Have we got any comments here? Uh -huh. What are the, the special police sometimes? They're a, a, a little organization or group of them. They specifically look for maybe more of the, the the people who are doing lots of crimes there, rather than rather than the day to day things. Yeah, we call them detectives. Yeah, that's right. So they're a kind of police, aren't they? Detectives, because if you can see in the word, it's got the word. Detect, which means find. to find. That's right. That's right. To find. So they're searching. They're looking for. And the police and detectives, what are they looking for when somebody reports a crime? What are they looking for when somebody Evidence. reports? Evidence. Evidence. That's right. That's right. That's another good word there. Let's add that one to the board. And evidence can we find at a scene. Anyone here on our videos? Let's get you guys to message if you can. What are we looking for when, uh, if you if you are a detective and you go to um, a crime scene, what evidence are you looking for? Finger prints. Helen says fingerprints. What's that? Can you explain that to us, please? Uh, the pattern of your, of your um, on the surface of your print, of your fingers. That's right. This part right here, of course. Sometimes when you touch your phone, right? At the end of the day, I know when I'm using my iPad, I've got so many mm -hmm. fingerprints as evidence that I've been using it. So let's, uh, let's add that in here. Fingerprints. Yeah, what else? What other evidence might, might we be looking for? Documents. Documents? Yeah, we could. Right. What else? Remember, guys, you need to unmute yourself to give me an answer. I'd like to be able to hear you if you do wish to join us here. So let's have a look. Let's have uh, Jane. Any ideas? Or Jian? Summer? Any ideas? What What do you think detectives or police might be looking for 
when they go to a place uh, where a crime has been committed. The item they have is built from the from the other person. Okay. All right. So evidence could be the actual mm, item, so, right? Yeah. Okay. So items that have been stolen, right? So we're looking for. We call them stolen. Does anyone know stolen? It starts with G. Stolen goods. Right. Stolen goods. Yeah, that's right. So if you are a thief or a robber or a burglar and you've got yourself a stash of uh, things that you've stolen, you might have them at your house. They might be in your garage. They might be, what's this part of our, let's uh, get the camera looking up there. What do we call this, this part of the room? The roof is the outside part. The ceiling, right, the ceiling. So yeah, sometimes, of course, criminals like to hide things in their ceiling. Yeah. And uh, what about the, the, sometimes there's a room or a space in the floor? What do we call that? Can open it sometimes it's big enough like a room yeah, yeah. a cave a cave that would be cool <laughs> I, i'd like to have a cave in my my house mm. i think it's in the roof for some yeah. people yeah base room. Base room. well it could be a basement uh, it basement. could be yeah. or it could be a cellar a uh, so like for wine, people often store in a wine cellar. A basement would be a, a room, mm. yeah, and a cellar, well, usually smaller, mm. yeah. So it could be like that, that's right. So it could be in the ceiling there, mm. you could have it under the carpet or under the floor. That's right, that's right. So we've got all these fantastic words here because we are talking about crime, we are thinking about criminals, and for all of you there, uh, Looking at the video, I'm sure you've got a handout. And for those of you in the class, here, page number 130 and page 131. So here, here we are. And uh, what we're going to do in a, in a moment is we're going to um, have a quick, quick chat with each other. And if you are all on page 130, let's have a look at the first speaking section. All right. Now. So um, we're going to put you together in groups. Is that something we can do? Yeah. 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 All right. And you're going to be talking with somebody either on the video or in the classroom. All right. So do make sure you unmute yourself in a moment. How many rooms can we have there? Three. Um, three. Okay. Great. And uh, what you're going to be doing is you're having a look at page 130. We're having a look at exercise number one and exercise number two. In exercise number one, we need to have a look at the five photographs of the clues in the police case there and discuss which two clues are the most reliable. Give a reason for your choice. And then there are four questions to discuss there. So you're going to be discussing that with each other. Mm. Oh. Okay, so let's grab a screen here each in a moment. So ladies, you're going to grab one of these each in just a second. And that's going to be your discussion partner or partners. It's Jane. This one's okay, ready to go. Hi, Jen. Right. Waiting for the comfort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do it. Ah, now. Is this one okay? Unmute. Oh, yeah, just got to press hard. What the is? There we go. Hey, all right, Ellen, here you go. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi, hi, my name is Ellen. Ellen. Sorry, your name is? Helen. Hi. Here we have you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you and me. Stuff in the tags. I did something like that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Let's move on to the Which one um, I'm staying to I think is simply more reliable. Um, I think the first mm -hmm. one, the fingerprints, and uh, also which one? Also, I don't know what. The yes, the, 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 the Do you know the the picture five? Yeah, yeah from me too. Oh yeah, hi. And the other yeah, one hi. maybe hi. the the hair and the um, picture two. Yeah. You say so a mute on this? I think. Uh, um,
These guys. Mute. All right, sorry guys. You should. <laughs> Nobody told me I was muted there. I apologize for that. So we're having a look. We're having a look at exercise number three. I think you still in mute. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's come off mute here. Let's go up in volume. Can Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. So uh, we're looking at exercise number three, page one hundred and thirty. All right, and we're just covering, we're just covering that second half of our exercise there. Okay, just looking at the vocabulary and phrases in the box. All right, so, uh, Summer, can you hear me okay? Jian, can you hear me okay? All right, so Summer, what is the first one, please? Can you, can you read it out for us? Number one? Okay, all right. So, to cover your tracks. Does anyone have any idea of what that might mean? To cover your tracks. So, type it in into the chat there if you like. Or, students in the class, what do you think? Something to do with crime here. To cover your tracks. That first word is important to hide cover. Your, your yeah, you guys say to hide? What do you guys think there online? Does that mean to hide? In the snow? Mm. Yeah. What do you see? You see your Footprint. footprints? Footprint. Yeah. And if you're an animal, you see your footprints. We also call those tracks. Uh, tracks. The uh, cars, cars, when they go on a muddy surface, yeah. or in the snow they're going to leave tracks as well so it's easy to see that yeah. somebody's been there mm -hmm. so to cover your tracks it's probably a good idea if you're a criminal mm -hmm. so that nobody recognizes that you've been there right uh the next one let's go in the class here adriana what's the next one going down uh, the suspect the suspect all right we've got an idea of what the suspect is the suspect. Mm. The person who yeah, may be committed the crime. The person who made the crime. Ah, the person who committed the crime. Jane, do you think so too? The person who committed the crime is a suspect? Hmm. The suspect is who we think committed the crime. Mm. Yeah? You're not a criminal until until who? Who says you're a criminal? A judge. The judge. Yeah, the witness, of course, have seen how you've done this. But until the judge says that you are guilty or innocent, right? Yeah. So we think, the police think, the witnesses believe that this person is the criminal. That's what we think of as the suspect, right? Sometimes it's it is true, and sometimes no, it's a it's a person who's been falsely accused, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's a big headache for that person. Uh, next one, next one. Let's have um, Natsumi. What's the next one, please? Natsumi, number three. So if you can unmute yourself, Natsumi, and just read out number three there. No, not sure there. Okay, how about we go to uh, Helen? What's number three? The proof. The proof. The proof. Okay, guys, uh, on, on here. Don't forget, you can type into your chat what do you think the proof means. Yeah. Yeah. It's similar to. Evidence. Evidence, right. Yeah. So we need to prove by finding Evidence. proof like fingerprints or um, I think John earlier said identification uh -huh. from a camera, right? Mm -hmm. Or some documents or stolen goods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of those things are part of evidence or proof mm -hmm. that this person is responsible for these 
crimes, right? So we need proof. That's right. That's right. All right. Good. Uh, next one. Next one, of course, is uh, let's go to Emily. <laughs> What's the fourth one there, Emily? So we've got the, yeah, guilty. <laughs> guilty before proven innocent, right? That's okay. Guilty. Guilty. Um, all right. Well, guilty. Do we put do we put um, you and me into jail, or do we put the criminals in jail? Criminal. We put the criminals, right? We hope. But sometimes, unfortunately, people who were in the wrong place at the wrong time sometimes also go to jail, right? It's unfortunate that the people who didn't do something wrong sometimes are found guilty, yeah. right? So guilty is when there is enough evidence, there is enough evidence to say definitely this person was responsible for this crime, mm. right? Yeah, that's right. Guilty, guilty. And the judge will say this. They, they find guilty after all the evidence is collected. Um, and in some cases, if you have uh, seen in movies, especially in a lot of uh, uh, North American movies, <laughs> you'll often see a huge, huge court case um, that's, that's for maybe like killers or, or uh, you know, really, really big corporations. They often have a group of people also listening carefully to the evidence. Does anyone know what they're called, this other group of people, usually about... 10 yeah. or 12 people and they have they're they're just regular people like you and me yeah they're called a jury. anyone jury. a jury oh. a jury right yeah. let's put that word up here so a jury of people uh that are also listening to the evidence and they can also decide whether you are Guilty, you're, mm. yeah, you've, you've done something bad, or the opposite of guilty again? Innocent. Innocent, innocent <laughs> of course. The opposite of guilty is innocent, right? All right, next one. Let's go with um, ah, Gian. Gian, what is the next one, please? Yeah. Okay. So a forensic scientist. Ah, huh. okay. I'm sure everyone knows what a scientist is. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Forensic scientist. Any ideas? A specialist with crime, crime investigation. Oh, sure. That's right. A special scientist, a specialist that investigates crime. Yeah. yeah. And they look for these small things, right? Yeah. Things like, what do we say here? Fingerprint. Fingerprints, right? So they go and they look at the surface of different materials and they try to find if they can see any fingerprints. What else comes from your body that can be used Hair. for evidence? Hair. Hair. Yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So that's why we see a lot of criminals in usually movies. They have a some kind of hat or cap. Yeah. DNA. DNA from what? From blood. From blood? Yeah, that's right. If there was a fight, somebody was maybe stabbed and their blood is found, that's used yeah. as, uh, as evidence as well, isn't it? So a forensic scientist can uh, do that. Um, and lots of different things as well. For, for example, um, when you have a, a gun being used in a crime, mm -hmm. they can then detect maybe the position of where where the person was standing in a room based on maybe a hole in the wall mm. right and sometimes when a person gets shot how how they were shot right mm. so the, this this is the the work of the forensic scientist to try to uncover and give uh, scientific evidence mm. to the judge and or the jury so they, they can be more educated about what has happened, mm. right? So a forensic scientist. I think it would be a very interesting job. I love watching things like CSI mm -hmm. on TV or those kind of uh, police dramas. Aren't they great? Mm. 
Uh, how many of you have watched any of these police dramas before? Let's have you put up your hand. Yeah, any, anyone? Oh, yeah, good. We've got a few people up there. Yeah. Yeah, they're always quite interesting to, to watch. All right, the next one, next one. Let's have uh, Muyen. What's next, please? Genetics code. Genetic code. Yeah, that's right. Where do we find genetic code? In your blood. In your blood. That's right. That's right. Mm, the genetic code. In your DNA, I think Muyen said earlier, mm -hmm. right? So your genetic code. So great for finding evidence. Of course, our next word is... Evidence, so we know that one already. I hope we remember that. And the lucky last one. Everyone together? Three, two, one. To take someone to court. Yes, excellent, excellent. All right. Um, court, what is that? For judgment. For judgment? So is it the judgment? You just go to that place. It's a place yeah. where the judgment happens, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where the judge is, where the jury is, where the evidence is presented to the court. So if you take someone to court, mm. it's usually because, are you happy or unhappy about something? Unhappy. <laughs> usually because you're unhappy, right? So something has happened and you've maybe talked about it maybe mm -hmm. argued already mm -hmm. and that didn't work so you said right i'm going to take you to court i'll see you in court mm -hmm. and they have to wait for the judge mm -hmm. to be able to make a decision because sometimes people can't of course come to terms with uh you know who's right or wrong in the situation and mm -hmm. so the judge needs to make that um uh, that decision all right, so hopefully we understand all the vocabulary and phrases here. So let's uncover, let's uncover our sentences here, all right? And use, use these in our sentences, A to G. I'm going to give you a minute and a half, 90 seconds. Let's see how quickly, how quickly you can do this, okay? Uh-oh. We've got 45 seconds to go. Let's see how many we can do there. Hopefully we got a few answers there. So again, let's go into our breakout rooms. Let's check our answers together. And if you haven't got an answer yet, talk with your partner and see if you can choose an appropriate answer there, all right? So here we go. Let's check our answers in our breakout rooms. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Ah, oh, brilliant, that's me. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the same answer. This what, what did you put for?